Welcome to Will It Build, the series where I take your builds from my YouTube comments and Discord server and put them to the test to see if they are the real deal. If it's solid, then I'll gift you 1,000 silver. And if it's really something special, you'll be featured in a dedicated build video for your submitted build. So comment yours below so we can answer the question, will it build? Will it build episode 14? We've got a little Titan setup, which I'm really excited about because obviously Bonk Hammer Titan just got hurt pretty significantly. I'm thinking this is going to be what replaces it. This submission is from the not so pro called Atomic Slamma. They say ever wanted to nuke the entire battlefield by dunking on your enemies with a hammer. Then this is the build for you. And real quick, I just want to highlight the very last line. This build is really fun and applicable in high and content like GMs. I've also spent 19 hours putting together the perfect, most optimal fashion setup for this build. So if you guys want to see this fashion setup, I mean, you know, come on. Who wouldn't want to look like this? I mean, this is model tier fashion. No. Obviously, for our aspects, we're going to need Soul Invictus, which we already have, but Consecration, which I don't actually use very often. Typically, I'm always rock and roaring flames, but Consecration has us, while sliding, you can activate your charge melee to watch to launch a wave of solar energy forward, damaging and scorching targets in front of you as you leap up into the air. While airborne, you can activate your charge melee again to slam the ground and create a second larger wave of damaging solar energy. And it's my understanding that with the Pyrogale Gauntlets, Consecration's second flame will create a cyclone of flame. Also, of course, our Burning Maul will become a big old cyclone of flame. So we're gonna throw on Burning Maul. We're gonna throw on those two aspects. Then I'm gonna look at our weapons. They say for the kinetic, we're gonna want Monte Carlo. I'm assuming that is so we can always have enough melee energy to be able to constantly be spamming our Consecration. Works for me. They say that our energy is up to us, but they prefer a solar weapon. Works for me. I'm gonna go with this solar disorienting grenades grenade launcher. The idea here is kind of I can shoot a disorienting grenade shot that allows me to run in more safely while the enemies are blinded or disoriented whatever and get my consecration off that's kind of the idea for third they recommend a rocket launcher love my apex predators quickly become one of my favorite weapons in the entire game in terms of fragments they've got to set up with the embers of mercy torches searing and Empyrean. So I guess torches to get radiant, searing to be able to get another way to get melee energy. Defeating scorched targets will grant us melee energy, which is great because consecration actually scorches targets and defeating enemies with any solar final ability blow will create sunspots, which also scorch targets. So this will be getting procced a lot, even more ways to get our melee ability on top of Monte Carlo. Got Empyrean so that the duration of our restoration of radiant buffs can be extended through solar ability final blows or solar weapon final blows and mercy so that we can acquire restoration when we pick up a fire sprite. My one concern with mercy is that typically Typically, I like to just go healing grenade instead because of the unintended bug with Mercy, where if you use Ember of Empyrean to stack up your restoration to say 10, 12 seconds, and then you pick up a fire sprite, it immediately gets reset back down to two, whereas that you know, you have a little more control when it comes to healing grenades. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of play around with it and we'll see how we're feeling, see if we feel like we want to change up to a healing grenade. They are recommending fusion grenades here, it looks like. I went with these for the lower cooldown and good damage and scorch, but in any high level content, definitely use healing grenades. So see right here, if they're promoting it for high level content, healing grenade it makes way more sense if we want to continuously get restoration through ember of empyrean and then for me it just makes more sense to drop the ember of mercy for something else i'll hang on to it for now but i have a feeling i'm probably going to want to drop it for something like benevolence instead we'll see as we go along with it last thing we need to do swap this over so we have tier 10 resilience super important in any build especially a titan build since it's tied to our class ability looks like our setup is complete and uh once again as i said in the previous episode i absolutely love running the coil for testing oh no wait a minute mistakes might have been made guys i don't think i can do the coil on this character oh brother this guy stinks okay here's what we're gonna do since i don't have access to the coil on my titan yet but i still want to test this in something that's relatively high end i'm gonna go ahead and hop in to the birthplace of the vile legend nightfall i don't want to do master just because i'm gonna do this solo in terms of champions we have overloads and unstoppables we have overload auto rifle so we can get that with the monte carlo which is perfect and then unstoppable we can get with solar ignitions which is actually going to be fine because with consecration if we hit an enemy with the initial activation of consecration it scorches them and then since they're scorched if we hit them with the second activation of consecration they will ignite which will thus stun unstoppable champions all right we're gonna come over here whoa i forgot the slide Sliding is important. I would go pick up the hammer, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because I can just spray this dude with Monte Carlo. I get 2% of my melee. Look at it. Just going. Boom. 
Okay, there we go. Bang, bang, and you're dead. Okay, you know what? I see what's, I see what's going on. Okay, now we're just gonna... Wah. Yo! Okay, wait, that's actually sweet. That's awesome. Okay, come on, guys, come on. Yeah, 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 come over here. Bang! Oh my god! Wait, this is awesome! I love this. This is one of those builds where you just kind of uncontrollably laugh while you're using it. It is so hard to, you know, like, every single person watching this has to just go try this. It is impossible to describe the feeling of what using this build feels like. You legitimately feel like the most powerful person in the entire world because every enemy that even looks at you, you just take both of your hammers from midair and bring them both down on their forehead. This is the first time I've ever used Consecration in my entire life, and it is probably one of the coolest ability designs I've ever seen. I'm in the fight of my life right now. Boom, that'll create our Cyclone. And then we're gonna keep getting kills with the Monte Carlo. Get that healing grenade down. Nice. That that, that sound uh, for the Monte Carlo melee regeneration uh, is the best sound in the world right now. Something I'm kind of wondering about is if it would be better to use like a scorching weapon like Skyburner's Oath instead of the Monte Carlo because then, you know, we're, we're, we're running a melee abilities or we're running a fragment that gives us melee energy when we defeat scorched targets and that would also allow you to use a solar weapon so that you're allowed to have something that will help you continuously stack your solar buffs through ember of empyrean because we're not really getting to use ember of empyrean at all right now so we're gonna go ahead and just chip away at this guy get our um get our melee back and then we're gonna try and sneak up i'm gonna do a grenade and boom, drop that, boom. And we're gonna hop on out and uh, okay, yep, everything exploded up there. Last time I was up here, there was a bunch of enemies and now everything's gone. I did have to get out because, you know, things were getting a little hairy, but I think it would have been better to wait to use my healing grenade um, because then I would have been able to continue to get more restoration with Ember of Empyrean, whereas since I used it so early, my restoration ran out before I actually started killing stuff with my solar abilities, so note to self. Hey, this, I'm not gonna, this ain't bad for a solo nightfall. You know, considering that this is my first time ever using this aspect, this exotic, and just quite frankly, this build, not doing that bad. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, th that's the one right there. I don't want to speak too soon, but this is one that's probably getting its own build video. Obviously, I'll I'll make a few tweaks. I'll you know put my personal touch on it, but uh, man, hats off to this one. Not only is it actually strong, it's working. We're eleven power levels down, and it's working. And we're in we're solo in an activity that you're supposed to be three man in. Oh, I just learned something. You can redirect your consecration mid-air, so you can send them two different directions. I'll show you what I mean. Check this out. Ready? Eh? So I sent one wave over there and one wave over there. I'm not necessarily sure what situation you would want to do that in, because it really does benefit you to put both waves in the same direction because one of them will scorch the enemy, and then the other one, if it hits a scorched enemy, will ignite them. But, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Hey, listen, I, it's, it's my job to tell you everything. It's your job to decide how to use the information. That's my sole purpose here. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I'm letting you know it's an option. I really should have put Towering Barricade on. Oh, if I get to this, give me restoration. Okay, you know what? I kind of like the Emperor of Mercy. Ready to die, Buster? Where'd he go? Wait, did I just kill him? <laughs> Wait, he was there and then he wasn't. I can't get over just how cool I feel. Nope. 
Okay. Okay. I, d I don't know if I'm messing up something or if the slide is a little finicky because I feel like sometimes when I slide, I slide and I do the melee ability and then it just doesn't, it does my regular melee instead of, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna jump over the screeves. Actually, that one's nope. one shot. See, right there. It did my regular melee. I think I'm just, I think you need to let the slide go for long enough. Cause if you try to do right at the beginning of the slide, the game doesn't register that you're sliding yet. So I, I think that's what's happening here. So let me, let, let me try and test this theory, right? So if I, oh, yeah, that felt, I don't know. So some, something's going on. Can't put my finger on it. Maybe if, if you guys know, if you could let me know in the comments, just so everyone else can have the information. I'm just trying to figure out what's up. I don't know, I, I can't tell what's going on. It might be something to do with me just sliding weird. It might have something to do with me having weird keybinds. I usually have the default keybinds though, so I'm just, not, I'm not totally sure. It could be like a dead slide thing where, you know, you slide and it's on a weird surface. So it just kind of messes up your slide. Could be my fault. I could be doing something wrong. This, this is what I've been waiting for this entire time. Is this bridge right here? Oh man. Bang! That's everything I wanted and more. And then, you know, just for good measure. Good lord. Yeah, this is, uh... This is what I was looking for. Alright, let's get our melee back. Perfect. No way. Finisher, maybe a little healing grenade, another slide, double rocket, that, okay, if, if, hold up, finishing touches, if that doesn't make you want to play this build, I don't know what will, that was the coolest sequence of events I have ever been a part of in Destiny, if, if that isn't the perfect culmination of this build, that sequence of events right there, I don't know what is. That was awesome. Will it build? Absolutely, yes. So much so to the point that I'm probably going to end up making a build video on this. Not only was this like actually legitimately strong, it is fun to use. It totally fulfills that power fantasy in a way that I have not really felt since probably Fallen Sunstar Arc Warlock or probably Assassin's Cowl Arc Hunter. If you guys think you have a build that is anywhere near as cool as that, please make sure to throw it in the Will It Build channel and my Discord server linked in the description so that I can share it with the world and so everyone can have as much fun with it as we had with this build today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it so you can see the next episode and have a great day.